Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you all are doing very well. So today uh, we'll continue in the series of profitability ratios, right? So uh, I think in the last video we have discussed about ATO, right? So now today we'll be discussing about ROA, which is return on assets, right? So whenever we are talking about the return, uh, you know, uh, we are concerned with how much profit we are able to generate, right? So uh, return on assets is nothing but how much uh, profit we are able to generate from our assets, right? So it is a ratio of profit after tax and total assets right uh, uh, and if you want to calculate percentage you multiply by 100 right so again uh, this roa will tell you the uh, it, it will indicate that you know how efficiently a company is utilizing its assets and it's able to convert its uh, you know assets into profits right so higher the ratio the better it would be so uh, on an you know on a scale if you want to compare uh, if it is greater than 20 percent it shows that you know uh, the company is uh, uh, utilizing its assets very efficiently right while if it is less than five percent it ensures that you know the company has a weak profitability it's not uh, the assets are not producing much profits correct so it is an overall indicator of the company's overall performance right so it could be it could be used um, as an indicator for that and uh, it will help you uh, uh, make a you know informed decision the next is roe which is called return on equity again since it is a return we'll we'll be uh, looking at the profits so since it is return on equity it means that how much profit we are able to generate from the shareholders equity or shareholders money right so it is the ratio of uh, basically pat which is profit after tax and the total equity in the company right so uh, how much uh, how much is the company able to generate profits from one rupee which the uh, you know uh, investor is investing right so that is what roe gives you so as a as an investor if i want to uh, you know judge a company whether i should invest or not i'll always look at the roe figure so if roe is greater than let's say 15 percent it's showing me that you know I'll, I'll get a good return from if i if i invest in this company although it is not the sole indicator but one of the indicators which could indicate how uh, you know how much uh, the company is able to generate from its uh, shareholders money right so these are uh, two ratios uh, roa and roe and the next uh, in the next video we'll be talking about eps which is earnings per share or let me just tell you what is earnings per share very very simple earnings is nothing but uh, you know profits again so uh, how much profit per share uh, you know we are getting so what we do is we take the earnings uh, or the total profit and divided by the uh, you know uh, the total number of shares of that company in the market so that will give you the earning per share which is the eps so if it if eps is greater than 10 it shows that you know the earnings are more the it is a high growth stock and you can invest right so these are some of the uh, ratios in the next video we'll be talking about current uh, ratio and we'll uh, we'll move ahead thank you so much bye bye and please subscribe to our channel take care